being a technologist by heart and by profession and also uh, had to pick up uh, domain as I moved in my 27 years of my career, one thing I always found, uh, it's a cliche that something which is always a constant is a change. So change is always there. So as we speak, uh, you know, I think uh, the average age in this room, if I take, could be around, let's put a 45. Please understand that we are already uh, we are already over the hill of a technology. So whatever we all are talking about and producing is for a consumer who is out there, who is in the mid 20s, and they have their own views. They are far too advanced in technology. They are far too uh, literate on the information what they want to buy. They're a lot more demanding in terms of the quality of services and the timeliness of services. And what is extremely important nowadays is all about the personalization of the services. I'm not going to have it what others are going to have it. I want a product which is absolutely designed for me and made for me. So that's the background in terms of, of the nature of the entire supply chain, uh, whether it is in the consumer goods, whether it's in industrial goods, whether it is in vehicular goods, whether it's in the services side, everything is linked to, to one individual who is the customer. So I would touch upon uh, a topic which I call it as extremely pervasive and ubiquitous. The, the way I call it as a pervasive computing is, of course, it is a technical term, uh, is that everything around you, including yourself, you are connected digitally. That means the garments you wear, the pen you write, the chair you sit, the table you, you know, use, the room you are in possession, every service, every product is connected. And that is, is all pervasive. And the days are not far when you would always find many of these connected already. You are talking about connected cars, you are talking about connected devices, you are talking about the driverless cars, you are talking about minimization of devices. So it's all about making it very, very user friendly to be embedded in anything and everything which is around you, whether it's a physical, whether it's a process side. So Internet of Things is, is not something which happened last week or a month back. It started about 10 years back. The whole concept of pervasive computing, you know, was actually the fourth generation of computing which took over and said that there's a Murphy's Law which says that every 10 years the, the size of computing decreases multi times but the power of computing goes up many times. So the, the affordability of technology, the availability of technology was very easy. You are able to embed and buy technologies on a fly. That actually forced to, to look at, hey, I think technology is out there to A, to make a differentiation, B, it can increase my efficiencies, C, I can quickly adapt and change technologies on the fly. Because technology is much faster than a human being. And please understand that whatever it takes time, a pen and a paper to do it, today a technology can do in microseconds and milliseconds. So Internet of Technology is, is a word which has been coined by Kevin Ashton, but it's all about staying connected always, anytime, and then everywhere. So Internet of Things is, is just a coined word it, which summarizes that anything, everybody, any service, any device, any place, everything is connected. And everything is available at the instance of where you are as a consumer. Your consumer could be the chairman of an organization, a consumer could be a guy who's buying a movie ticket, a consumer could be an ex a, a, a lady waiting at home for a FedEx to be delivering a packet, or there is a person sitting on a website trying to design a product extremely customizable to him or her. It is all about getting connected. So this is a summary of anything A, 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 A. So it's all about seven A's of Internet of Everything. 
but please understand that uh, internet of everything is not just connecting the devices it is also connecting people it also tr it's all about completely automating the processes underlying a business is not that you know just you you know you have a calculator doesn't make you a great mathematician just you have an automatic uh, in a sewing machine doesn't make you a great tailor and just to you know uh, like i am a hobby photographer for the last 23 years i have been shooting so every time i show my photograph the first question is hey what is the camera you use but nobody asked my wife you know which pressure cooker you use when she makes a great sambar right <laughs> nobody asked her so technology is only an enabler but the question is what do you do with that information and the technology how do you translate your services into a wow factor so the key thing is people they leverage technologies they automate the processes they integrate the things and what do you do with all this integration you actually create a volume of data so today the biggest asset is not the people and not the not the uh, products and the services what you use it is the data which you create which is your ip which is your usp in the market people often say you know i mean uh, in the previous session shridhar was talking about you know the people have become a cost but the machinery has become an asset but why is people an asset what is there in people which others don't have it is the data okay so when you look at the data pyramid the information which you gather out of the data is is your i would say the key differentiator in the market so what do you do with information oh i have lot of information so is my laptop so is my cell phone what do you do with information just because i carry a cell phone doesn't make me the world's you know the brightest manufacturer or the brightest logistics guy it is a knowledge which i comes out of the data so there is a layer on top of the uh, data which generates a knowledge so it's not just integration of things and the people and the processes it's the what you do with the data how do you handle it how do you store it and how do you build an analytics layer on top of the data is i mean is internet of things is not just connecting of 50 billion devices i can still connect it tomorrow so what right so that is something you know i would uh, touch upon as a progress in this presentation so this is the this is the where you know you would see the cost of computing is going down so when the cost of computing is going down i think extremely prudent that every manufacturer every consumer every transporter every uh, logistic guy takes advantage of this computing and try and leverage to say what is the value i am going to get by connecting two devices so it is not just connecting devices it is what is called as the value based connectivity so you should connect devices which add value to your entire production chain or entire supply chain so when you are connecting devices uh, <coughs> what is extremely uh, key thing are the three a's 